The report from the Economic and Social Research Institute was published today, but its findings are based on the 1981 census. It says a solution to the intolerable living conditions of the travellers is more urgent than ever. If local authorities can't deliver, it's time for the government to take over. And they say Dublin County Council is one of the country's worst local authorities for housing. A point their principal officer defended vigorously. I have a team of social workers who regularly visit all the families in County Dublin. And without any doubt, uh, I would say as high as 80% of those families do not want houses and would not be suitable for houses. Now, I'm worried about that sort of message coming across from what I have heard, because we at the moment are talking to a lot of communities in County Dublin to try to uh, persuade them to um, accept or acquiesce to our proposals for largely halting sites. And I think they would find it easier if uh, it was group houses I was proposing. But I can't propose that because that is not what the itinerants require in County Dublin. The traveller spokesperson, Mrs Joyce, said it was ridiculous to suggest they didn't want to be housed. There's groups of travellers here waiting for houses, we're marching for houses and we're fighting for houses. And what did they think we're doing? Fooling. It's about time Ireland opened its eyes and let the people with their power open their eyes, the bishops to speak out, because the travellers can't take much more of this. They're suffering very badly with their health, chest infections. They've all the sickness that you get in third worlds. They mightn't be as hungry as third worlds, but they're living in worse conditions, and the discrimination is really awful. And if I can't talk them into doing something, I'm going to shame them into doing something.